today I'm going to dye a few badger hackles for St. Yellow with a fly I've got in mind to uh, try and also try and dye some poly yarn fluorescent yellow to use for parachute posts. I've got a gas stove, um, some of those little aluminium camping uh, containers for the water. Be careful with these Venyard's dyes because if you spill the tiniest amount is it ruins absolutely anything it comes into contact with. But the Venyard's pack the dyes in some horrible containers. This is an illustration coming up now. They're so hard to remove the lid it's almost impossible to avoid spilling some. So I transfer my dyes into these sort of medicine bottle containers you can get in bulk uh, loose from Hansen and just label them. You need to label them because you can look at the powder and it makes no sense sometimes what kind of colours can come out. So I've just added a tiny bit of fluorescent yellow to the water, heating it up to the boil. I like to get my uh, materials boiled and agitated a bit before I add the vinegar which uh, fixes the dye and sets the, sets the colour. This is to make sure that the, uh, the colour is evenly distributed amongst uh, through the materials. And it's coming to a nice boil now. Always protect the area where you're doing this dye in this something because honestly you can't afford any splashes. Oh, that's looking lovely. Now I'm adding a bit of vinegar to set the dye and you have to just periodically glance at the feathers to check that the colours getting set to the right shade. And uh, we seem to be there now. So we're turning this off. then when, when the colour's set I just transfer them to a bit of plain water. Wash your dyed materials for quite a while. You don't want any residue dye left in them because it tends to get on your fingers when you tie and flies and you end up being yellow, orange or claret. After you've dyed them you can dry them off with a hair dryer. It's quite a good way of getting them dry. Speeds up things a bit. And then uh, ready for use. Surprising thing is here is the poly yarn that I tried to dye it didn't take any dye whatsoever. Absolute waste of time. So uh, if anything that might save you some trouble trying to dye it. That's what the uh, badger hackles look like now. Beautiful, ready for a new pattern. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Bye.